Okay, this is the final video in the Under the Hood series of videos. And I know it's only been five videos long, but it was to familiarise yourself with Luminar AI. Now this final video may end up being split into two, but they'll still be out on the same morning. And I think that'll work out to Friday morning, I think the way that I've planned everything. So what I'm going to do with these ones is I am going to edit both of the images you see, and you'll see them down here. I'm going to edit both of them by taking them from Lightroom into Luminar AI and finalising the image and then bringing it back in and sending the second one in and using my edits for the first one saved as a template just to add to the second one. And there'll be wee tweaks that we've got to make, but I just want to see how quick it all comes together. For me, I'll be talking through this, so it'll be slightly slower than it would be for a normal edit, but hopefully it lets you see just a complete edit and what you can take images from, in this case, from the D800 from a few years ago, into Luminar AI, just to see the effects we can get with this. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, that's us in Luminar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ra relatively quick edit of this, save it as a new template, take it back into Lightroom, and then apply the same template to the second image. So I'm just going to do it one by one. So if the video is too long, I'll split this into two. So straight away, I've been offered different templates. Waterscapes, as you can see, the water's there. Easy landscapes, and I could go down to the landscape down here. Overcast, which I may go into. Let's just see dynamic result, two blue, mystery, black and white, night's thunder. I'm going through these really quickly for the sake of the video. I can see straight away whether I like them or not with this. So I do realise I spoke really quick there. I am going to go back into easy landscapes for this. And as I said, one of the ones I've already favourited is Forest Stream. So I'm going to apply Forest Stream to this image, but I'm going to edit it as well. For me, again, two blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the blues back straight away. I'm going to jump back into light. So basically what I'm doing is I'm editing the template that was offered by Illuminar AI. And I'm going to pull the highlights back. If I pull them back too much, it ruins the image. So. I want to retain some of the highlights in here. These ones I can deal with later. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get and look at the other edits that have happened, right? AI structure, if I flick that on and off, I can see there's a subtle difference there. I'm going to push that a bit further, which will be a global edit and it will apply more structure to the entire image. Get into AI enhance, let's enhance the sky a bit further. And that results in more blue in the image, so again, we may pull that back. In the details, I'm going to push the small details just to about there. I'm not going to remove them from any of the water up here. I just want to see how quick we can apply this to the entire image. That highlight there, I might deal with at the end. Or I may deal with that in Lightroom, because I find that sometimes some edits for speed using the two programs or three pro programs, if I'm in Photoshop, the workforce suits better. So trying to contain my edits to one singular program, it doesn't work for me all the time. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. And so I'm just gonna go with my workflow for this. Small details, should we sharpen them? Yes, why not? Why not? Denoise landscape, what's on golden hour? Let's turn the golden hour off. Let's push the golden hour just to see Bring it back. Yep, I'm going to go for it a bit further there. I'm going to bring back the foliage. I don't want the foliage on here. Dehaze, I can push further and further, knowing that it will affect a global edit and it will affect the blues. So I'm going to bring it back to there. And I don't know if you've noticed, but you notice the water splashes up here. Again, I'll deal with them in another program. And that being Lightroom for this. Next thing I am going to do is let's go into Dramatic. Let's just have a look. And that's a bit too dramatic for me, but uh, let's go for it for this one. What I'll also do is I'll jump back into light and I will bring the exposure down. 
a bit causing more drama and then lift the shadows which will or should affect the foreground more than it does here although it's a global edit just going by the tonal value within that and it did lift it so here we are that's what we come in with relatively quickly we have more detail we have more depth in the image already visually so that I'm quite happy with I may go back in and play with the colour in this so if I go into the pro panel and I go into colour harmony I may warm the image up a bit it's about there, let's have a quick look at before, after, before and after, again quite happy with that. Split colour warmth I'm not going to touch at all. Right, dodge and burn, I'm going to leave that for Lightroom and for me just now I think that I'm going to leave it at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these three dots down here and click save and that is now called Forest Stream Edit. So now that I've saved that, if I go into templates and go across to the star in my collection and again to user templates I have forest stream edit so what I'm going to do is rename this one and I'm just going to call this one Denure with shadows and I'll go ok at that and by hitting the return key see I now have Denure with shadows so for me I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to click apply and that will go back into Lightroom and apply the edit there So there's the before and after, starting in Lightroom and going into Luminar AI and then bringing it back into Lightroom itself to do a couple of tweaks. That for me is my workflow. These are not great images and they're not intended to be. They were never ever used but I thought it'd be fun to see what Lightroom and Luminar AI could do to them. So it's an okay result at the end. It was just fun to try it to see what it could do. So what I'm going to do very, very quickly is I'm going to take the second image, which is this one here, and I'm going to right click and edit in Luminar AI. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, go. Okay, that's us in Luminar AI, and let's go straight into templates, user templates, the newer lift shadows. And now we have this. That's how quick it is. It's taking it back to where I originally wanted it. The blue in the sky is too much. That's just a little tweak. Go into colour and let's pull back the blue in the sky. So let's go into the hue, go into the saturation. And the saturation is down, but let's pull it back even further. Just to around there. Okay, so you can see it's all blown out. This is not a great image at all. Neither was the first one. But it lets you see how everything can come together in this. Again, I'll just click apply. And without doing anything further to this one, except for lifting the shadows slightly, I'll put the images side by side. So there we have that. And there we have that image. So there you can see kind of relatively quickly how everything can come together. What I didn't add here was a gradient in the sky. So let's pull that into there. Well, I can see both of them on the screen. And let's drop the saturation of it. To around about there. I'm going to lift the shadows of this one slightly because I don't want it too foreboding for this image. And let's go back out of here and just lift the overall exposure. Okay, so if you're stuck with both videos this long, thank you very much. Because basically what you've been doing is you've been sitting watching me edit an image. Whether you gain anything from that or not, I don't know. But for me, what it's let me do is it's let me explore Lightroom and Luminar AI working together to produce these images now these are terrible images but it lets me see what i can and can't do when it comes to saving an image or when it comes to editing so the next time i'm out shooting in the field whether it's back down at denure or somewhere else it lets me know i've got to get this right in camera to be able to make something from it so hopefully you've managed to get something from the videos this week. As I say, you've been sitting watching me editing this one. 
Perhaps you got something from it, perhaps you didn't, but it was a journey I needed to go through with Lightroom and Luminar AI just to see what it did. Uh, from the, my point of view, it lets me see how I can work with it and how it can interact with my images. And, and that's the big thing for me when it comes to editing and when it comes to the photography side. If I know what a software can do, it's never going to save a bad photograph. It can't save these. These are bad photographs. But what it can do, it lets me see how much detail it will bring out. It will let me see if I edit a certain way, what will happen with the image. And that's a discovery that you've got to find for yourself. That is how editing works. That's how photography works as well. You've got to discover what it is you can do, what it is you need to do better, and take it from there. And let the two of them work in synergy the photography and the editing. Hopefully you'll join me for the video next week. It won't be one video next week because it's coming up to Christmas and probably like yourselves, there's still some wrapping to do and last minute shopping. Uh, so I'm only going to have the chance to do one video at the weekend. But as I say, hopefully you'll join me for that. The videos this week were just intended to let you see what the software can do and hopefully they've helped you with some of aspects of what Luminar AI can do. There's lots more to discover, there's lots more to explore with them. And for me, I'll definitely be using it in my workflow as I still do Luminar 4.3, but I just thought I'd keep it to Luminar AI this week as that's just been launched. So all I'm going to say is I hope they've helped in some way. Remember, stay safe, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.